Hey, so it's Keith, what's up? Almost forgot I needed to upload a video today. Uploading a video every day on my 60 day challenge for ultimate agelessness, the best of agelessness, extreme agelessness. So I decided not to rebut to my last video, which is no surprise. I got a few people paying attention to my talking about flat earth and conspiracy. Um, I'm going to address that later. I don't want to get on any one topic here, so we're going to jump right back into health, and we're going to talk about one of the most most important things. Um, kind of a, I'm just assuming everybody's hydrated, but probably nobody's hydrated enough, really. Um, half your body weight in ounces. That's what you should be drinking in water every day. And if your Chinese constitution is wood, that's probably not going to be enough and my Chinese constitution element is wood. And, um, you know, uh, you'll just have to find that out for yourself. Um, I read the characteristics somewhere and I'm a very obvious like uh, wood constitution. So <sighs> the video is um, um, hydration, title is hydration, water, salt, caffeine and supplements for hydration so I really don't believe you need any supplements but I do take some from time to time I usually try two or three times a year to take some good supplements or whatever um, one of the big killers of hydration is caffeine obviously and I've always had my things with caffeine I never thought I'd be able to actually give up coffee I do drink green tea now and if I'm smoking pot, which is, that's another thing I never thought I'd be able to give up, actually. I mean, I always had periods where I didn't do it, but not long, long periods like I do now. So um, for me, smoking pot and coffee kind of tend to walk hand in hand um, anyways. But um, to talk about, you know, that's another one. Depending on how that coffee affects you, you've got to at least replace those ounces of coffee double. So for me, I, I'm actually, I don't know if I've ever actually said what my, kind of my new weight is. Um, I'm trying to fit more into my body. I'm actually a really small framed person. Um, I actually have talked about this a lot. And so a big thing I'm trying to do is, is get really skinny because I have a small frame. Because I look kind of, um, to me, I look off naked because um, I have really tiny hips and um, I'm certainly not fat by any stretch of the means but I need to be like really 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 skinny because that's how my frame is um okay so um shit how did I get off on uh, talking about my weight it's late at night I apologize I'm talking about supplements caffeine um, marijuana, coffee. Never thought I'd be able to give up those things. I drink green tea. Green tea actually helps with hydration. Um, but it's still caffeine. So uh, it doesn't anywhere near, not in my constitution, anywhere near come into um, the dehydration level. I notice it right away with coffee. I never drink coffee anymore. I don't like it. Um, but I am a young person, so I do enjoy that buzz. And in the 60-day challenge, I'm going to attempt to leave caffeine um, because of the adrenal thing. I have actually, I started drinking caffeine actually late in life, maybe 24 or 25 or something like that. And I just um, kind of like the brain high, but I just... I, I, I'm looking to challenge every part about myself and not make any excuses about, oh, like, that's just what I want to do. I want to do everything. I don't want to be owned by any food. I don't want to be owned, oh, I eat raw vegan, so I, I, it's okay to overeat. You can overeat on raw vegan and kind of get away with it. But I just, there, there's so many things I'm looking to achieve. And I'm going to say again what I said last summer. I'm looking to become a breatharian. Um in this life and I'm also looking to do here's your if you have a problem with my woo woo I would have think you would have left my channel a long time ago but um, I'm a, I'm going to ascend with this body 
so psychics have told me that I'm already um, enlightened and then I just keep coming back here because I like it here and um, I also have like checked into a lot of um, teachings uh, spiritual psychic teachings that um, some people or some spiritual beings when they are enlightened actually come back to get back here to, to actually have themselves humbled and I am kind of a cocky person so I wouldn't be surprised if that's that's why I came back here and I want to learn more of those things and I don't want to be owned by a lot of these addictions and one of the things that I need to do on this 60 day journey is is at least have some success like baby steps okay right baby steps little things at a time if we fail we don't worry about it we just go on and we pick ourselves up dust ourselves off and try it again when we're ready to try it again right okay so good water that's really important um if you don't have a, a, a also in the area drinking good water but showering and i'm not a big showering person um i shower kind of like once a week um i can in the winter time go as much as showering only once a month and your skin uh actually there's there's a lot of again i'm not i'm not this is a blog about me this is a blog about my anecdotal um adventures about me i'm not going to point you to references and stuff like that i don't care my face is here i'm talking about this stuff and that's what this is and that's a lot of what some of the on the last video what some people got into talking about was or one guy in specific was talking about science and that's a whole other video with me you know that I'm all about the anecdotal information and um, I don't need science to tell me to try something. Woo! Long digression. Okay, so back on water, uh, showering. Um, I was going to say, there's a lot of evidence out there that you're better off to like not shower as much as Americans do. So, um, I actually, in all this time, I still have, there's a few things that I have not invested in. I just invested in an um, a air cleaner. I actually got a really good high quality filter for my um, the intake on my central heating which actually does not get used in the summer here I have no air conditioning whatsoever my utilities go down to zero um, for the most part other than the um, electricity I use for my synthesizers and my, my lights um, the point is where I'm leading with this is I actually sadly still need to invest in a shower filter i haven't done that over all this time so um i'm just putting that out there i i just don't shower and part of the reason i don't like i i can tell with my skin and one of these days i'll get a shower filter and this could take a lot of digressions with just talking about magnesium anyway so let's get on with talking about the um supplements there's this one the crystal grid stuff from patrick flanagan um, and then also by the same dude is the Mega Hydrate. These are not necessary. Um, I find this one, they're both effective, but I, f I find this one's cheaper and it is the most effective. And if you don't believe it's a, uh, effective, buy it anyways and try it. And not only feed it to yourself, but feed it to the water or put it in the water that you, you feed your plants with and watch what they do. Um, I actually knew about those products a long time ago. And hey, I'm not recommending that you try these and I don't think they're necessary. They just kind of help. Like if you've been dehydrated and I have been badly dehydrated with the caffeine, with the just plain not drinking enough water, um, you're not gonna just rehydrate yourself overnight or like over a week's time. If you can sort of imagine um, dry dirt and just like kind of how long, like how water just kind of like runs off of dirt when it's sort of super dry and actually doesn't saturate it. Um, that same thing happens with your body. And so once you get on a mission to like hydrate yourself, um, you're gonna find that you piss it away a lot and you just really gotta meaning that like you drink it and you piss a lot and um takes a while for the water to get into those dry spots 
because the water doesn't have anywhere to go. And so when the body doesn't know what to do with it yet, um, puts it out, sends it out. So um, what else? Um, okay, so this is an interesting one. This is, this is a little bit of an a interesting one. DMSO is a penetrative. Has a, uh, a, you're not actually an official like health food store or something. This stuff goes, hasn't been illegal in a long time, but it on and off, depending on what mood certain people are in, it can go illegal in some states. Um, what is it? What does DMSO stand for? Dimethyl sulfoxide. Interesting stuff. Um, I have, this is a digression. I actually had a, a, a skin cancer thing here. I've always had, like I said, I worked out in the sun for a long, long time. Um, had this and nothing happened to it. And then um, all of a sudden, somewhere around 2013, maybe, it started spewing out goo like I saw with people like that had skin cancers and I was just like and I actually noticed it in one of my videos um, that I actually put up on YouTube about how fucked up it looked um, I use DMSO MSM and vitamin E oil um, rubbed it in my hands and put it on my face and that's actually a big reason why my hair looks so good, my face looks so good, is because I've been using the DMSO. So you can also take the DMSO um, internally. That's what I, where I went off on that rant about it becoming illegal. That's definitely something uh, um, the authorities would have a problem with talking about using DMSO internally. And I have taken it internally. But you need to be prepared for what's going to happen. You're, it's going to like, it's going to loosen stuff up. Um, not so much like um, having you need to be near a toilet, but it's going to push stuff out your pores. Is what is what it did for me. Now, whether it's going to do that to you, and I have been a detoxified person most of my life. Um, MSM. Um, yep, that's another one that helps with hydration. Um, I use Earthshift Project. I buy it in a five-pound bag. It's it's pretty freaking cheap that way when you get it like that. Um, salt. Salt helps retain water. Like, I don't understand this shit, this stupid shit, this dumb shit inside the 80-10-10 fruitarian, durian, writer, all those dumb motherfuckers that are anti-salt. Like, we are beings of water. We're mostly water. Why? What problem would you have with retaining water? Fucking retarded. We taste like, like salt. Have you ever tasted your own blood? Like after you've cut yourself and stuck it in your mouth to taste it? We're salty beings. Don't care what other people say about that. Don't care what kind of science you're going to dig up on it. I know from my own experiences. Okay. Um, what else I got to say? I guess that's about it. You need to stay hydrated. Half your body weight in ounces. If you're drinking caffeine, especially if you're drinking wa uh, coffee, I, you know... I don't know about other people. I haven't had this conversation, but coffee is wicked-ass motherfucker with me. Um, I almost say for me, I need to replace that amount of caffeine beverage that I have in ounces triple, triple. So if you're having a Vente Starbucks or something, that means 60 more ounces of water. In general, I shoot for a gallon of water a day. And depending on what else stuff I'm doing. All right, that's Keith. That's the end of this blog for the day. Uh, support me by supporting my music. Links in the drop down, secondculture.bandcamp.com. Uh, second-culture.com um, plenty more to come uh, I kind of want to rebut to some stuff on that other video but um, at night time it's not you know, once I got rolling with this talking here I didn't think I was in the mood I feel like I blog better uh, in the morning but I felt like this one turned out pretty good didn't it not a lot of those wicked right brain digressions that I do. All right, it's almost 15 minutes. 
support me or supporting my music. Links in the drop down. I'll see you later. It's Keithy. Bye bye.